This week, Holy Cross will take on the Crusaders of Bishop Eustace. The two schools are only separated by a mere 11 miles. So granted to say, there's a lot more at stake than just a game. Bishop Eustace is a well-coached football team. I, I think one of the big keys for us is that we just have to execute on offense. Uh, we do run an offense where we try to put the defense in bad positions. Uh, so as long as the kids just go through their reads, uh, make the right plays on the outside and with the run game offensively, then I think we should be fine. Atlanta's have a special guest up back for Former NFL receiver and Holy Cross alumni, London Fryer. Fryer is son to the only number one overall pick in the history of South Jersey, the great Urban Fryer. London is here to light a fire for this year. Not satisfied with the level of intensity, he decides to give the young Lancers a taste of what it's like to go against the test. A lot of these kids, they weren't even born when London, uh, when London played here. Uh, and every day I can tell them what this school used to be like and what the football program here used to be like and the atmosphere at games, what that used to be like. And I, I can say it to them until I'm blue in the face, but I think having somebody that actually was a part of it and, and did it, uh, when he says it to the kids, I think I think it I think it gets the energy level from them up. Like, hey, we can do this. This is somebody that's done it, and he's here, and he believes that we can do it. Before the Lancers get to doing anything, they unwind for a little at picture day. It gives a chance for the team to loosen up a little. Seniors and freshmen get to coexist. Some take it seriously, as this is how they'll be remembered for the season. Others let loose and have a laugh with a teammate or two. All right, JJ3, how are you feeling, sir? Yo. I'm feeling good. I mean, what? I'm excited you, for the game tomorrow. Why are you more. pointing that way? Cap, cap, cap. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> well, anyway, first varsity start in four years. Let's take a video of Sab with sunglasses on, you know, stay humble. <laughs> but I'm done this interview now, so. All right, who's next? Oh, I'll I got it. Right I'll do one. I'll do but I'm done this interview. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. All right. Sure. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. All right, I'm Mr. Mad, what are your predictions for far as tomorrow? I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to come out. We're going to come out pretty strong. I think after a week of pretty... Uh, a pretty good practice, mm -hmm. pretty good practices. I think we're going to come up with a lot of positivity, so we're going to see how it goes. Now, as far as team chemistry, would you say it improved as far as this year compared to last year? Oh, 100%. Uh, off, of, <laughs> off of what TJ has done and the, the entire the enti – Coach TJ, my bad, and the entire coaching staff, I think it's a huge improvement chemistry-wise. All right, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, come on. All right. <laughs> Big seven four. Five. Oh, seven five. My bad, my bad. It's, yeah. I put this in four. Yeah, but it's time to take the numbers next year. All right. So, first, let's say, what, varsity snap this next, next, what, since last year? Yeah. All right. So, first varsity snap from last year. How do you, like, how do you feel? Like, are you nervous? Are you hyped? Like, I'm hyped. I mean, coming off the concussion last year, I mean, everything. Got a lot of proof. Lot, a lot of proof, I guess. How hungry would you say you are? I'm always hungry. Look at me, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm a big boy. I'm, what do you have to say about the two practices you missed? <laughs> uh, and I got no more time. No more time. <laughs> With the last shutter of the camera, the Lancers will be in game mode. All the preparation for the week has been complete, and all that has to be done is the execution. I keep it going, I'm rolling and blowing, I'm coasting, I got them all trolling me right. I just keep growing and showing them, knowing I'm moaning this fall, you can catch me outside. Gonna get them all with a little payback. Never gonna fall, I'ma stay on the attack. Put them up against the wall as I finish every track. Never gonna stall, no, I'm never gonna slack. I've been like working and learning and searching for something to push my sh for the edge. I'm gonna keep burning and turning the profit, you know I can't stop it until I am dead. Gonna be unstoppable and profitable, cause I got a constant flow of knowledge, yo. If you got a problem, bro, take them off the throw. Coming to the top, I go, yeah, bro, slow.
with a short kickoff and a surprise returner. Connor Hill takes the ball for the Lancers and gives him a decent return, setting up great field position for their first possession of the season. Rest in peace, it's all rapy. Rest in peace, it's all rapy. Rest in peace, yeah. Roll up to the club and the city show me love. She gon' pick me right above. Sit the Lancers established themselves as a screen pass team at first. You can't stop this, I promise. Got electronic with a little rock wrap on top of it. You can't even process it. I'ma keep dropping it till the try stopping it. Oh, I got the beats and I got the rhymes to make your girl cheat. I'm switching your dime, get up on your feet. If you wanna climb and take it from me, I got nothing to hide. I get it, cause I want it. Always on it, and I'm got it. Now I got it, get my shot in. You know I'ma be the one climb to the top of it. I'm dropping this, take a shot, I got the fifth. I'm watching it. Crop top got me in, she got it, shit. She wanna pop it off again. Drop it low with it, she can take it off the yeah. The offense takes the field again. TJ Madeira is in the thought process of if it's not broke, then don't fix it. Being too predictable, set the Lancers up to be taken advantage of. But a botched extra point keeps them at six, and the Lancers retain the lead. This is an important moment for the Lancers. The first time all season they've been punched in the mouth. by the Lancer defense leads to another Ryan Elliott touchdown. It's third of the first quarter. Well, I think the rest of the team gave me some good opportunities rushing the ball. The O-line executed well. I had a lot of big plays on special teams. My teammates blocked well on special teams for me. And we all worked together to have a successful game. There was no blocking the Lancer defense, as once again they held the Bishop Houston's Crusaders to another three and a half. Everything seemed to be going well for the Lancers, until... Another turnover keeps Bishop Hustis in the game, but not to worry. I stay loose, I stay high, I stay loose, I stay high, I stay loose, I stay high. I could do this all night, cause I do what I like. Holy Cross only allowed one first down the whole game. And even when Bishop Hustis got that first down, they had to earn it. A botch snap on a punk gives the Lancers great field position, and boy, do they take advantage of it. Get. When I blow, I'm a hit, and I know I'm the kid. I'm a 
sack in the end zone by Don Rodriguez puts an exclamation point on a great first half of the season. Rodriguez not only had three sacks in the game, but was six for six on point after touchdown. Two years ago, he played defensive end last year and he made huge strides towards the end of the year. Got really impressed with him. Um, so he's coming back and now he's like taking like pride in that role as the D lineman. And it's good to see. The Lancers are on a roll when the halftime gun hits. They come out confident for the second half, which is all good if they back it up. Let's go! The Lancers come out aggressive, not trying to give Bishop Husis any sign of hope. Another short touchdown by Kyrie Smith. Before I came here, I didn't really have a lot of love for the game. I did, but it wasn't as passionate as it is now. I have to you know, going close to my senior year, so I gotta make it count. The biggest question on the team, the young offensive line have been holding their own the whole game. So I was in their shoes before. I know what it's like being that little kid looking up to the big kid. Like, especially the fact that the team's young, so you just have to lead them, just keep on encouraging them. Make sure they stay positive. Every time they make mistakes, make sure you get positive reinforcement. Never, like, never discourage them. The turn for a touchdown gives Ryan Elliott his fourth of the day. They give him our aim and beat. Bishop Houston didn't go down without a fight. Last minute touchdown by Owen Evans gives the Lancers 50 for the day. to the victor goes to spoils.